Hey guys, this is a really quick video. Just going to really quickly explain the Australian fire calculator that I created. Um, a lot of calculators out there that calculate financial independence don't incorporate super, our system, here in Australia. So um, just really quickly going to go over it. So uh, have your instructions here, which basically just say... Um, the race to fire in Australia is slightly different because of our preservation age and we can't access that re them retirement accounts. Um, before your preservation age, you basically need to plan for two phases. The pre-super number, which will um, last you until you reach, reach your preservation age, and then your super number, which will last you hopefully forever. Um, so these fields here is the ones you fill in date of birth, current network, so how much you have in investment accounts outside super and don't include um, your home equity. You can include investment properties, but not your home that you live in. Um, how much you have in super, growth rate for the investments, your estimated inflation rate. Um, the RBA tries to aim around 2.5%, um, so that's a good number. 3% is conservative. Um, by the way, these... It, it, or, some of these um, cells have little tool tips just to give you like a indication of what sort of the, the standard of um, the value should be if you need help. Um, household income post tax. So um, not how much you earn, it's how much you earn post your income tax. And the most important figure for calculating financial independence and reaching financial independence is how much post tax money are you able to save each year? Uh, so all these conditions put in, so there's like eight fields here that you need to fill in. That's all you need to fill in uh, for the calculator to work out how many years it's going to take you to reach fire, uh, which by the way, if you don't um, know what it means, financial independence, retire early. So based on these values, um, the calculator has put 11.45 years and that means it's going to be 2027 when you reach fire according to those numbers. Now, um, this graph here visualizes the, the, the race to fire really well, I think. So the first line, so there's two lines, there's pre-super and there's super. The first line is when, when you start your race to fire in Australia, you need to be living off something because you can't, you could have $2 million in your super account, you have $50 million. But if you're young, if you're like 25, you won't be financially independent because you can't um, access that money. So what you need to do is you need to build up a certain amount in your portfolio pre-super money um, to last you forever. So this number here, um, which by the way, the, the, the pre-super and the super numbers are calculated in these tabs here, um, but they're really like, this is like the mass behind it. Um, I will do uh, another video that goes into that in more detail and how all the numbers are calculated. But um, if you just want to know your number and visualize it, then the first tab will do that. So your pre-super number, um, you can see here, you know, it starts off as um, 60,000, which is how much you said you have. Um, your current net worth is um, outside of super and equity in your home. And you basically go up, 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 up until you hit a certain number. And once you hit this number, and the, the, the calculator ca calculates that in the, the other two tabs, but you don't really need to worry about it if you're not too concerned about the mass behind it. When you hit that number, um, th then you basically can stop working until your preservation age. So the, the calculator will work out what that number is. And when you hit it, you're basically living off. See how it peaks here and then it tapers off, tapers off, tapers off and it reaches zero. It actually reaches past zero here, but um, you get the point. What that basically means is you get to a certain point in your portfolio, which you can live off until your preservation age. So that's not forever. It's only until your preservation age. Now the super line is you, you, what you have in super, what you have in super. And then around about this point is when you've, you've hit your pre-super number. So if you're still working, if you don't have enough in your super to retire, which this um, calculation doesn't, all right, you need to put in a certain amount into your super um, for it to grow to hit that um, financial independence number come your preservation age. So this set of circumstances, the preservation age is uh, 2046. So the calculator is smart enough to know that you don't need $1.4 million right now but you will need it come your preservation age. So it calculates the exact number. So it calculates how long it's going to take um, for you to reach your pre-super number and how long, how many years left that you have until you reach your preservation age. 
and it's able to give you a number that you need to get to. And then after you get to your super number, then you can retire. So for this um, individual, it's around about 2028. Um, oh, no, sorry, it says it here, 2027. Uh, and then, so once 2027 rolls around, this person can stop working. And what's going to happen is they're going to live off their pre-super portfolio. They're going to um, draw down upon that every year until they get to their preservation age. And that means their pre-super uh, portfolio should be zero and their super portfolio will be big enough to sustain their uh, living expenses forever. And that's basically how it works. It's a two-step um, system reaching fire in Australia, two steps to reaching it. How much you need outside super and how much you need inside super. Now, really quickly, I just want to um, show you how important this number is here. So currently, it's taking us 11.45 years to reach um, financial independence. If we just change this number to save... 75,000, right? That's, you know, $10,000 extra a year. That's that's quite a lot of money, but I think that's doable. Um, hit enter. You'll notice, you know, look at that, 8.99. So we've, we've basically shaved off more than three years off our race to financial independence for a $10,000 increase into it, excuse me, into our portfolio, portfolio month uh, yearly. You know, $10,000, I'm sure if everyone went through their budgets, um, they can make sacrifices and it, it really is, you know, up to you. Um, is three over three years worth it for you to spend that $10,000 every year? But I just wanted to highlight that importance. And you'll notice that the graph, you know, it shifts everything around. So now that you're able to save more money, your pre-super number will be reached earlier, which means you can stop working. Well, you can't stop working just when you reach your pre-super number. You have to have enough in your super um, to retire. But Basically, these two points get pushed left. They get they it, you reach these two points a lot sooner than you would um, only saving sixty five thousand. Uh, and that's basically it, guys. Um, you know, head over to my website www.ozzyfirebug.com and you can get the latest version. I'm constantly fixing it um, with bugs that pop up and everything like that. So um, if you want me to uh, send you the latest version, just sign up to my. Um, I got a little like form there to put in your email address and uh, have a play.